Now, some of you will come to the conclusion that I am conceited, perhaps contentious. <laughs> uh, regardless of what you think, and to show you that I don't care about what you think, but I care about being right, I will say, America, America, America. Behold the great man you have before you. All the young Ebos, all the young black people, the Muslims, the future freedom fighters and revolutionaries alike. Behold the great man who has transcended, conquered, and vanquished his enemies back to the little troll caves that they came from. Some of them are expensive troll caves. Some of them are very basic troll caves, but they are troll caves nevertheless. With that being said, let's get to the point of this video. Matthew 5.11 Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Yes, I am, I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to conquer my enemies, for making me the greatest martial artist in America. Thank you. In this video here, I will hold both the Bible and the Quran to show you the love I have for the Lord. Shuku emeka, emeka, emeka. Thank you, Lord, for giving me pride, helping me stand firm, making me among the greatest of all men. All things are done through you. And when I pri take pride in myself, it's because of you. I'm actually taking pride in you. Now, I give you John 15, 18 through 25. If the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world hates you. Thank you for choosing me, Lord. Remember the word that I said to you, a slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will pers also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. Thank you, Lord, for not making me a bootlicker who is even below the Satanists who they serve, their masters. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know the one who sent me. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to know you, while my enemies know you not. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have sin. But now they have both seen and hated me and my father as well. But they have done this to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Lord, you have made me a very righteous man among the most righteous. They have no excuse for their sins because Jesus came and taught them the way. All the things that are written in these books are quite logical. They could be no other way. What they share in common. And it goes back to the earth, nature. There are countless animals that have memories, have an understanding and have a sense of fair play. Is it not logical that the creator also has a sense of fair play and a memory that's even greater than the greatest of his creations? To think that this is not the case is rather absurd. To think that they can sin their way through the days and nights and it won't come back to haunt them in the afterlife is quite preposterous, I assure you. cannot serve two masters you either serve Babylon's system or the Lord make no mistake I've asked them to stand with me Lord 
I've given them all the chance to repent. Do with them as you must. What you would have done, whether or not I would have said that, whether or not I have said that or not, you would still do that. I say this for their sake, not for yours. When all is said and done, they will receive the just recompense for their action. I have nothing but faith. I also have nothing but faith in the fact that this would have happened regardless of their being prophets. All prophets have done is they have shown people what they should have known already in their hearts, souls, and minds. They have pointed out what we know already. They have said this is how it is. And when they explain it, it's a dead giveaway. For example, if the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. Do we really need to be told that? Or is it something that is being pointed out because people are foolish and miss the obvious? The people in charge are Nazi sympathizers. Some of them are even Jews. They sympathize with them in the sentiment of control, in the sentiments of extremism and occultism. And when I say extremism, I mean a wicked, wretched, abominable extremism. This monstrous system stops at nothing, and they think that they will get away with it when they pass away. They have certainly doomed themselves and their descendants as well, teaching them the ways of wickedness instead of the ways of the Lord. They really think that they will outsmart nature and the Lord. That the way things work are the things that they are the way that they want them to, instead of the way they actually do. This is what they think. They are complete fools. The blind leading the blind, truly. Just in case all you fools who serve these fools have missed it, I say again, John 15, 20. Remember the word that I said to you, a slave is not greater than his master. Thank you.